North Korea carried out a series of military activities, a widely expected show of discontent over the 11-day joint military drills between Seoul and Washington. The Korean Peninsula welcomed to North Korea's report on two cruise missiles fired from the regime's 824 Young submarine on Monday. They flew in elliptical and figure of eight-shaped flight orbits for over two hours. Now, the North has fired ballistic missiles from a submarine before, but never cruise missiles until now. It's also alarming that the missiles flew in a diagonal line, meaning the regime could have used launching tubes from their old submarines. Now, that could also mean that their old submarines are capable of firing missiles, not just their newer advanced models. And the second round of missile launches came two days after. This time, two short-range ballistic missiles were fired from Changyang County. The area is just about 150 kilometers away from demilitarized zone and flew across the North's inland area. According to experts, it's the North's way of showing off a stable missile launch to Seoul and Washington while the Allies are engaging in active joint military exercises. And just hours before President Yoon suk set off for Japan for his summit with the Japanese counter Fumio Gishira summit on Thursday, there was an intercontinental ballistic missile launched, the Hwasong-17, the regime's largest nuclear-capable missile to date. It was the first time in almost a month that the North fired an ICBM. Overseeing the test firing, the leader Kim Jong-un called for enhancing deterrence against a nuclear war and giving a sense of fear to the North's enemies. So, as you can see, a total of six rounds of ballistic missile launches just here. And we are just three months into the year, staging the launches from usual spots to new locations. Pyongyang is warning that the regime can launch stage launches whenever and wherever.